Hello and welcome to this new video here in our YouTube channel, Miriam Leonardo Tango. Today we are going to cover the differences between corte and planeo. This is the video number one of a playlist that we are building. We are going to cover everything, the lead for the leaders, how we lead the planeo and how we lead the corte, the difference between that. Also, the followers is going to cover... Yes, we are going to talk about the leg, the knee position, how it is when it's planeo or when it's corte, and how to know the difference between the lead, how we receive it. So stay tuned for other videos that we are going to be creating and putting in this playlist. So it is a lot of information that we want to cover. That's why we decided to do, to do it in different videos. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, but before that, Remember to subscribe with notifications to the YouTube channel and also like if you like the video and give us a little comment below so we can answer more questions. Let's start with the video. Hello, hello, here we are on the dance floor and we want to show you the lines of the legs for followers, when I feel the lead for corte. Mm -hmm. Yes, let us show you the corte, what corte will be. One, pa -da -pa -pam -pam two, corte. And just from here, we're going to exit with front ochos into a resolution. Good, so my legs, the lines I create on corte, let me show you from the first part, we're going to keep these positions just to practice, to show you that. But of course, this is in close embrace. So we are going to do the preparation to the corte. I feel the lead for corte. So I will keep my knee behind the other one. So in this case, I have the right behind the left knee. So not side to side. I will do this, so upper legs together. Now, balance is on my left, torso is facing the leader. And wind the hips, keeping the leg on the same position. So I will end with my right shoulder open and the right leg under my elbow. And I can do punteos if I have the time. If not, just passing through this position. And when he lifts, I will go from here, extending the legs to cross. From cruzada, I will feel next lead. In this case, it's a front ocho front ocho to re-embrace, wait for the leader, and go to resolution. There is something that I would like to mention, followers, wait for, uh, right after the corte, wait for him to lift you. Don't try to rush your leg. Talking Did about the position. Did anyone hit you with a knee? <laughs> yes, can I say names? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so this is what I mean. One, two, we change here at this moment. Sorry, excuse me. I will do the lead the corte and followers wait for him to do this little lift to go to the other side make sure you do not rush your knee to cross to the other side like this this will be wrong can you see that i that i actually felt because of the rush so make sure you keep it behind because he's low yes as long as he's low you can keep it behind and then of course we can go up in order to go to the next part of the figure. So let me show you without doing the steps, just sure. the position is upper legs very, very in connection. So it's now space and I uh, feel the connection on upper legs. When I go softer on the front leg, which is the balanced leg, I have the right knee behind the left so I can create that position. On court, the position is very important not to close the torso because I will push the leader away. So I have to create this, which is right leg, right hand on the same line. And this will happen all on the floor. I can do punteos in a straight line or go in and out and do the punteos, always keeping the knee in contact, the knee together. When he lifts, I will go to feet together and cross, waiting for the next move. Okay, let's show them from other angles so Absolutely. they can see it also from my left side and your right. So we initiate that from back feet together, front, I feel the lead for corte, so I go knees together, corte. If he leaves me here, I can do punteos. 
when he left, I go to the cross and waiting for the lead to walk, walk, and resolve the step. All right, that's it. And this is this was only the position for the follower, the position of the leg. In next videos, we are going to be covering the difference between the planeo. We're going to be covering the, the lead for this planeo and for this corte. So make sure to keep this playlist handy. Good. If this is not enough, go to our website, Miriam Leonardo Tango, and uh, subscribe to our online tango school, online tango training, and you will see a lot of videos. Yeah, over 120 videos at the moment. Okay, that's it. Thanks so much. See you on the next one. Bye.